Hey y'all, welcome to Racing Crafts. This is Scraps on Saturday, episode 16. Um, today I'm going to work on a card for Operation Right at Home. Um, I don't know that I'm going to make it necessarily a birthday card. Um, I don't know, we'll just have to see as we go along. Um, what I'm going to do is... Um, I have some scrap paper here from Die Cuts with a View. It's the green stack, uh, the 12 by 12 pattern paper set. Um, I've got this uh, Luca on a tractor. He's a digi that I printed out and cut. And then I used my largest felt binders, Nestability, standard circle large, to cut him out. And then I just went to the silhouette and cut a circle out of red scrap paper that was a quarter of an inch bigger. My card base is white. Um, give me a second. It is, where did I put it? Here it is. Ultra, what is it? 110 pound. No, that's not it. I think it's 110 pound. Uh, Paper Studio Heavyweight Cardstock. Doesn't have a weight on it. Okay. It's just the, the heavyweight here. So. That's what my card base is made out of. Go ahead and throw that back up there. And I just cut that in half and scored it. So it's a five and a half by four and a quarter inch card here. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to grab my ETG gun. And I'm just going to put some adhesive in front of my card. And I'm doing it this way because I am horrible at lining it up right. Like if I cut it five and a half by four and a quarter, there is no way I would make it line up right. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do it this way. And... I still probably won't be perfect, but that's really as close as I'm going to get. So then I'm just going to grab a pair of scissors here and cut around my card base here. Oops, I need to go just a touch farther. It's not working with me today. And, you know, I don't really see a whole lot to trim off on this inside edge here. Just a little bit. So I did pretty good. Mm -hmm. oh, I do need to fix that, though. Because that's going to cause a problem. There we go. Alright, so there is the front of our card, and then I'm going to grab my trimmer, and I'm going to cut a, I don't know how I'm going to do it here, I don't know if this is even going to be long enough, but, oh, that's perfect. Wow, I couldn't do that again if I tried like that. All right, and then I'm gonna grab a piece of white card scrap here. And it should be long enough. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna cut this at three and three quarters by five. Put it inside of our card. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my ATG and just take these two together. You know, I'm not a big fan of that. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and grab another piece of bread Wrap. I don't know. 
Usually I'm better prepared than this, but I thought I was going to be okay with that. I'm just not. <laughs> All right. Let's see if this is four inches. And it is. Okay. So four inches by five and a quarter. So I'm just replacing that pattern paper with a piece of red here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and center that. And I'm sorry that my paper is so messy. Oof. Sorry guys that I'm not with it today. All right, I haven't made a video in a while. That could probably be part of my issue here. And I'm gonna go ahead and slide this on the inside here. that and I did see one thing that I didn't do here and that I didn't color the smokestacks so I'm gonna grab I'm not sure if I'm gonna use IG4 or 2 I'm going to use IG4 here quick. There we go. And I didn't use my uh, Spectrum Noir markers when I colored this. This was before I got them. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a gold gel pen. And just color his buttons here gold because I didn't do that either. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab some ATG. And I'm going to just layer him. him just flat on the front of the card and I do want some kind of a sentiment but I don't necessarily want it to be a birthday sentiment so you know what? I think I might just use this just a note mm, maybe not good ones here. 
Okay, so I figured out what I want to do. I have two sentiments I'm going to emboss. One on the cover, and then I'm just going to go ahead and stamp the other on the inside here. So I'm just going to take my powder bag there and grab my Versamark. And I'm going to emboss Thinking of You in some white embossing powder. And it looks like I got some embossing powder on my stamped image there, which I totally did not want. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp him right at the bottom there. And I'm just using some Ranger Ultra Fine, I'll, yeah, Ultra Fine embossing powder here. And I forgot to tell you guys this earlier, but for a list of uh, supplies and measurements, click the information bar below for a link to my blog. It will. It will have everything from this video and um, the sizes I use and whatnot. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and heat my heat gun here. Go ahead and flip that up and I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use blue because there is blue on the front as well. So I'm going to grab um, Daniel Blue and I've got this cute little stamp that says Missing You and I'm just going to stamp that in my bottom right corner there. And that's our card for today. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys next time.